many ways back to fiction and, 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 and what it does. It, it distills truth and it, pr it, it produces characters that are composites. And the more they become composites, the more they approximate a mythological character. And so they become more and more universally true and more and more approximating religious deities. But the problem with that is they become more and more distant from individual experience. And so with literature, there's this very tight line where you need to make the character more than merely human, but not so much of a god that, you know, one of the things that happened to Superman in the 1980s, Superman started out, he's got a heavenly set of parents, by, by the way, and an earthly set of parents, and he's an orphan like Harry Potter, very common theme, is that when Superman first emerged, he could only jump over buildings, you know, and maybe he could stop a locomotive, but by the time the 1980s rolled around, like he could juggle planets and, you know, swallow hydrogen bombs and, you know, he could do anything. Well, people stopped buying the Superman comics because how interesting is that? It's like something horrible happens and Superman deals with it. And, and something else horrible happens and Superman deals with it. And it's like, that's dull. He turned into such an archetype. He was basically the omniscient, omnipresent, um, Om omnipotent God, and that's no fun. It's like God wins, and then God wins again, and then again God wins, and you know. So then they had to weaken him in different ways with kryptonite, you know. So green kryptonite kind of made him sick, and red kryptonite, I think, kind of mutated him, if I remember correctly. And anyways, they had to introduce flaws into his character so that there could be some damn plot. And that's something to think about, you know. There's a deep existential lesson in that, in that your being is limited and, and flawed and, f and fragile. Um, you're like the genie, which is genius in the little tiny, in the little tiny uh, lamp, you know, this immense potential, but constrained in this tiny little living space, as Robin Williams said when he played the genie in Aladdin. But the fact that you have limitations means that the plot of your life is the overcoming of those limitations, and that if you didn't have limitations, well, there wouldn't be a plot, and maybe there would be no life. And so that's part of the reason why perhaps you have to accept the fact that you're flawed and insufficient and, and live with it and consider it a precondition for being. It's at least a reasonable, it's a reasonable idea.